Another player, though, I would I want to talk about United player, of course, um, is um, Rafa Varane. Now, I, I think he is going to be going to Saudi Arabia. I think that's where he will end up. Um, but the money that they've got, um, you know, United can probably get a good fee no matter the injury problems or what. They could probably still get the best fee. Um, uh, and I'll let Taylor start on this one, and then both of us, Bo and Bayern lads, will go after. But do you think Bayern will go for him? And um, to, to question to Taylor, do you, you think he would work at Bayern? Um, I just think he would go. Um, well, to buy it anyway. Uh, I definitely, I think, I think he'd work. Um, even with his age and that, obviously, injury problem. But I know his sort of case. He's already, he's already come out with his like concerns to like Premier League and that. that there's far too many games when you're playing in England because there's so many cups and you got to do so much. So in the German league, he would have less games to play. And I think he could stay fit a, a lot better at Bayern compared to United. And especially United's like, I don't know, I'd probably, probably got the worst medical team in the world. Like we got 25 injuries. So I think he I'd think he would he could flourish there. Obviously he wouldn't be he wouldn't be main wouldn't be your main centre back. Um obviously you're, well, you're not too sure what's going on with the lit, obviously with injuries, stuff like that. Kim and Jay going nowhere. Rupert Mancano still up and down. People are not too sure what's going on with him, but definitely a great, um, great backup. Like obviously, you love looking at like Boateng and all that. Varane is the like the backup you would definitely want. In all honesty, um, but if he's going, I'd rather Saudi league. Uh, we it's looking like we could get fifty to eighty million yeah. for him. Going exactly. Saudi, so cash that in. Cash that in if you're going to sell him. Be stupid not to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like. No, nah, I'm with you on that. Because we're if we're having financial fair play problems, you you need the big bucks because I'm buying ain't buying him for more than fifteen million. No, I agree. So, I agree. obviously, and obviously, what's to retire United? It's probably most likely not going to happen. So. If I was around, get you, get you get your bag. <laughs> Go to Saudi yeah. League. A lot less games there and all compared to English League. So yeah. why not be one of the best centre backs in the Saudi League? Um, maybe go to bloody Al Nazar or something. Play Ronaldo again. Yeah, yeah. No, that, definitely. As a um, Madrid link up. I, I would, I would take him in a heartbeat. Of course, you, you know. Uh, the, again, the only concern would be injuries, but you are right. You know, I want to say he very rarely got um, injured at Real Madrid. Um, maybe one or two times, um, yeah. if, from what I can remember. Obviously, I'm not a Madrid fan, um, but you know, like Taylor said, you know, he's a United fan anyway. He'd know um, they've got, you know, they've got the same situation. Um, going on with like hot tubs and shit like that, they got the same facilities. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so you know, you're not expecting to to actually see um, any you know progression on injuries and so on and so forth. So I would take him. Um, Hundred and ten percent, I would take him. I think he's brilliant. Uh, I think what Upman Kano, um, Dilip, uh, Kim and Jay, Varan. That's disgusting. Ooh. That is that is disgusting. So uh, I would take him, uh, but I also do agree with Taylor in the fact that you know, Bayern Munich are not going to say to United, "We'll do you a favour." No, we're going to take the piss and we're going to say fifteen million, take it or leave it. So his best place is to go to Saudi, get United the money, um, even though they probably won't use the money because the Glazers will take it. Um, but um, YouTube, what's your what's your thoughts, mate? Okay, like. Uh... The Ferran to Saudi League would be like the would be the most ideal for United. But would Varan but would Varan agree to that if if Bayern is like uh knocking on on United's door and offering 15, 15 mil? Right? 
I guess it depends on wages. Yeah, it still depends on wages, but but I mean, uh, if you're Varad, you still want to play at like a top level football. Yeah, top level league. I mean, we're always in the Champions League, which he's pretty much used to. He would always like if you're like if you've been if you've been playing in the Champions League like the, the most of your uh, footballing career, you'd still yeah. be looking for that. I mean, uh, I'm not saying that it's like oh that's that that's like his his priority. I'm sure it's one of the, his priority. If he if he's like uh, if he's uh, ambitious enough, I mean. It would be, it's either Saudi League, okay, United would, would that's a that's a very um, uh, ideal uh, scenario for for United, but it isn't an ideal scenario for for Boran. Yeah, no, I agree. Never know with these days though, like with the players that have gone to the Saudi League, like sort of Ronaldo, Benzema, like so on and so forth. These people. They can easily play for a team that's in the Champions League. Obviously, Benzema was literally in Real Madrid mm-hmm. before going. How there, old yeah. is Varane? 31, 32. It's got a couple of years. Like Maybe. 30. Isn't Maguire older than Varane? Mm, no. I think he's closer. He is. He's bang on thirty. What? Who? Varan. Uh, Varan. And so is yeah, they're, both, they're both. They're both thirty. Okay. So. Both 30. That's. That's still a peak. So still, still yeah. has a lot of football. A lot of football, but it depends how his injuries have weighed him down. Yeah. True, and true, how true. much of his quite Obviously, his quality is always, always going to be there. It's just um the matter of his legs, whether. The English league has completely brutalised his legs. That's the only um, sort of issue with him. Like, he's, if he's going but to, but as he said, if he come, if he come to the to the Bundesliga, he he'd have a, a lot less games to play, mm. and he would. I, I think, and I think our uh, our uh, medical team in Bayern is getting better. Look at look at Coleman. He used to be very injury prone. Now he's like playing almost every game. Mm, yeah. So that's one thing to to uh, to look out for. Like, oh, if I go to Bayern, oh, my 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 friend Coleman is doing very well despite him being injury prone. I go there. Mm. Yeah. Yes, he's got yeah. um, he's got a couple of French people. Huh? Obviously, Mcarno Coleman. Yeah, Obviously, definitely. He, there'd probably be times where he would. Probably play with Uber Mancana. Obviously, they've yeah. been in the French team, so there might be some sort of um, decent connection there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. It, it could work out very well in Bayern, but obviously, you just don't know what what the English league has like actually done to him. Really, it's more like a mystery with him. Yeah, because like some people can be just be the beyond the point of like recovery. Even if they do play lesser games, hmm. like like look at Reese James, he's he's injury every game. Every game he comes back, he gets like one game or two games in, and he's out. And when he's in, he gets red carded. 